Hey guys, don't forget, today we're gonna be talking about Hanky Do and MA Talk, so stay tuned. Hi everybody, my name is Gio Perez. I want to welcome you to another episode of MA Talk and we're here with Steven Reich, special guest. And we're going to be talking about Han Kido. And let me explain the history of Han Kido. The history of Han Kido is relatively new, developed by Myung Jae Nam. Myung Jae Nam was born in Jeollandong, Providence in 1983, but lived in Incheon for most of his life. He started his martial arts training as a teenager being taught by his grandfather in wrestling and stick fighting. In 1957, he moves back to Seoul and joins the Hap Kido movement, training under Ji Han Jae. After two years, he moves back and begins to teach at his local fire station. In 1973, he moves to Incheon and becomes the co-founder of the Korean Hap Kido Federation. While still active in the Korean Hap Kido Federation, he begins to join all schools into the International Hap Kido Federation. Myung was also the former representative for the Japanese Aikikai and was included many Aikido-like techniques into his version of Hapkido. He has produced several books and videos on the subject of Hapkido, self-defense, and Hankido. He was also the founder of Hamkundo. Hamkundo is the Korean sword art where the basic techniques are based on the letters of the Korean alphabet. The word Hankido actually consists of three different Hanja. Han, Korea, Korean culture and mentality, Ki, energy, Do, the way. So you could say that Han Kido means the way for Korean people to develop their internal energy and strength. Myung Jae Nam toured Europe and the United States to promote this new art until his death in 1999. Okay, so you know what, one of the things that I've noticed in Han Kido, which are the circular motion movements, the uh, uh, I mean, he was a, you know, professional uh, dancer, uh, as you know. I don't know if you noticed that, but traditional Korean dancer. And you could see that in the art of Han Kido. And I know you had uh, practice Han Kido and also in your practice of the circular motions. I mean, did you know that you were actually practicing Han Kido in some of those uh, movements? Not at all. I mean, I just thought it was, I mean, it, look, I started Han Kido with a different instructor and it was different than that. But uh, other than that, it was, I mean, I just took it as a different flavor of Hapkido. I had no idea it was a different art or that it was influenced by a different art um, until I saw a video on Han Kido where I learned the name Han Kido and just noticed a lot of similarities, almost exactly what we were learning from the warm-ups to the right. falling to the advanced circular motion techniques that they were doing, um, everything was very, I mean, the three principles, uh, the principle of circular motion, principle of water, uh, water, and, and principle of harmony. Harmony. You know, they were all, that's what we were learning as Hapkido. Right, and, I, and I've spoken to other practitioners of Hapkido, and they don't, uh, they don't understand those forms. I mean, they didn't even know about the it. principles. The principles. Yeah. I mean, they didn't even know about the principles. Like, do you guys practice circular motion? No. I, what is that? Do you practice flowing water? No. What is that? The sum, you guys know. So, this whole time, I'm thinking, oh, okay, we just we're just learning hapkido, but no, it was a mixture of hapkido and hankido. Yeah. And and I mean, uh, very heavily, surprisingly heavily hankido influenced. Right. Hankido. But but most of the hankido that we were practicing, most of those techniques are integrated into the higher belts, which are That's like true. red belt, black belt, uh, you know, second degree, third degree. Mm -hmm. Then you see a lot of those techniques happening within our organization of hapkido. And uh, for example, uh, I mean, you, you don't when we practice knife techniques. You also do a lot of the circular motions. You don't see, I mean, I haven't seen a video of Hankido using knife, but I have seen, you know, doing the Hankido techniques against sword. 
Right. Yeah. Well, it's very influenced by Aikido. Right. I mean, it has a very. I mean, aside from the dancing look, right. it has a, a, those circular motions are very Aikido. Well, he practiced with a, an Aikido master. Yes. What's his name? Uh, I would say like hen, hentai. Or, I think it begins with an H. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, we're not actually uh, sure on the name. Yeah. But. If you know, please let us know. Yeah, comment down <laughs> before. Mean, comment down. I've read know. it, but I, I, at the risk of butchering the name, I'm, I'm yeah. going to just say I know he was a, a keto master. Well, I know he was uh, the representative for Korea uh, with the yeah. Aikido. Myung was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, so he, yeah, he was uh, the representative for for the Aikido Federation. Right, right, right. Pretty much, yeah. Um, also, when he's when he's using his techniques, I mean, you do see a lot of dance movements there, and that's something that a lot of people have you know struggle with, which is the I would say the the movements of the footwork and and the yeah. traditional way of the the well, way I know they he dance. was trying to make it really digestible and easy to learn. I right. think he was making it a you know a certain set number of techniques for each uh stage and, right. and you know just trying to make it like a very universal easy to follow uh system. Right. 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 I mean it was I mean like for example when I practice hapkido you you see all the techniques. I mean they're very straightforward techniques. But when you're doing the circular motion, I mean, that takes a lot of practice. Yeah. I mean, it does. It really does. Well, I mean, the circular motion was one of the chief characteristics that was different than the first version of Hapkido that I was studying, uh, where in that style of Hapkido, they had a, you know, they re it was kind of like judo, where you were just working off of your opponent's, uh, res you know, how he was resisting you, whereas... Right. Hankido, or the version of Hapkido we were studying, right. which is IHF affiliated, just right. like which, Master Myung. Yeah, Myung so, was in your certificate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> My it's, certificate, yeah. you see him as yeah, a he's on the certificate yeah. as our, you know, so he's the top guy. Right. Um, but that those, the circular motion, the way everything is using like centrifugal force, much like Aikido, uh, it kind of creates its own resistance. And, uh, I, I thought that was very cool. Yeah. Um, I kind of like, you know, taking a little from both, you know, right. but, uh, yeah, I mean, it's great to know like when somebody grabs you, how they're resisting you and it kind of dictates what techniques to do. Uh, but in Hankido, you know, once you start applying the technique, you're d working the power of being at the center of a circle, you know. Right, using the flow, using his flow to be able to, to use that. Uh, right, well, if you're at the center of the circle, right. you, you can use minimal, uh, you know, energy to achieve, whereas on the outside of the circle, you're chasing, you know. Right, right. <laughs> I mean, so I whips I, people around really well. I love the techniques. I mean, I love the techniques when you practice hankido. I mean, the circular motion. I love those techniques. But uh, how applicable is it? I mean, in a, in a real situation, uh, what do you think on, that? on like, for example, on on using those techniques and being able to use it against an actual boxer or somebody that 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 fights that way or kickboxer or anybody right well i mean i've seen videos uh you know advanced hankido uh stages where they are using some a lot of joint locking but i think that's where the hapkido side of what we learn is a little more the finishes. Ap applicable <laughs> Yeah. Uh, in real life. I mean, it's, you know, a lot of people say Aikido as, as practical as it could be. It's not the most practical thing. And I think that Hankido has similarities to that where in, you know, at its core, it is a little dancey. And right. I don't know how, I, you know, it's hard for me to imagine how all of that would apply practically. Right. Um, but, uh, at the same time, I think that they do incorporate a lot of self-defense in there. And I guess, you know, again, I didn't study pure Han Kido, so I'm not exactly sure how that plays out. Right. But in Hapkido, we had the self-defense, <clears throat> you know, in conjunction with that. And I would imagine somebody who founded Han Kido and founded Han Kumdo and is the head of Hapkido is probably influenced by it all anyway. So I'm sure that it's probably plenty practical you know you know what it is <laughs> it also kind of resembles the history of uh of capoeira you know how capoeira they were they were hiding their martial arts style uh during slavery they were they were hi they were hiding it in capoeira so they were yeah. hi hiding that martial arts part of it the jinga right 
and in half keto you see these guys are going into hiding because of uh what's going on in korea during the 80s yeah and he starts uh hiding this martial arts style within a dance <laughs> you know so that was a little bit of similarities i saw with what uh jnm was doing you know uh practicing the hand kido and being able to do that and hiding with it. yeah yeah and hiding <laughs> with uh with uh, uh, uh yeah hiding it within dance so you know it's like hiding all these hot keto techniques oh well i'm just dancing but yeah. you know but, I'm, but you don't know i'm just doing yeah but you yeah. don't know that all these techniques i could break your neck and your wow. joints it's kind of like karate kid yeah. i'm just i'm just sanding floors yeah <laughs> So what are you doing there? The car. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you doing there? I'm just practicing. I'm, I'm putting the I'm wax dancing. on, and then I'm putting the wax off. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> But in actuality, you're you're learning how to defend. Right. I'm you're... just dancing. I'm getting really good. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. But that's that's how I see Han Kido, you know. And you know, talking about the dance, imagine if Han Kido was actually uh, developed in like Puerto Rico, let's say, or or uh Dominican Republic you know like if it was developed in Puerto Rico then you start developing this martial arts style hiding <laughs> hiding it within salsa within dancing salsa. or if you do wow. it imagine I, mean, i don't know how how uh, applicable it would be if it would start with reggaeton or something you know where you, you're doing all these moves like like latin dancing or whatever but uh, well, but it's similar well dancers pick up choreography pretty well you worked do. with some dancers that just i thought they were martial artists just from doing your choreography but they're like no i'm just a dancer just, yeah yeah no, yeah bruce lee was a dancer that's right yeah, yeah he was a professional what like cha-cha-cha dancer cha-cha. Uh, that's champion right. So, you know, he, 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 he also, I mean, you need good footwork yeah. when you're practicing martial well, arts. That's me, what I think. Let me ask you, you, yeah. you mentioned capoeira. Do you think that's a practical martial art? Or I've can seen, be? Uh, some of the, some of the kicks they're doing, they, they, it's very practical. I mean, I've seen them used in, in real fighting situations in, in a ring. Right. Where they do like a spinning heel kick and then they, you know, they're holding on with their, their, their body weight and be able to swing that leg and knock out that person. Yeah. yeah I've seen well, that's that. actually, if you, if, you know, Jihan J always thought that his spinning, uh, hook kick yeah. should be done with the, the hand on the, the ground when it comes around, much like Capoeira. Yeah. So, so yeah. So you see, you uh, see so it, it can be practical. It can be. It can But be, I yeah. think in Hong Kido's case, he was trying to make it Like I said, very simple to learn. I think he was, it's kind of like systems that pride themselves on working off of flinching motions, react, natural reactions. Right. I think just, you know, using dance as a kind of a metaphor for it. He's really, he's, he's just trying to make it easy motions that don't feel like you're learning a hard martial art. Right. That at it, you know, is actually, you know, when you put it all together is, is really an effective system. Right. It almost seems like, okay, I'm going to teach you all these. Exactly. Like the karate kid. You know, I'm going to teach you this dance. You guys are going to do this circular motion. And, and then after three years, like, teacher, I'm tired of doing this circular motion. Oh, let me show you what this does, my yeah. son. And then like, you start putting those when did, when in. When did you say it was, uh, uh, officially, uh, became a martial art in the 90s? In the no, 80s? well, officially, uh, I think it's 1986, somewhere 86. around there. Somewhere around there. But the, the name, original Karate the Kid name. came out in 84. So I'm just trying to think, <laughs> of, were they influenced by Han Kido oh, as far as, you know, you know, paint the fence and paint the house? I don't and, know. I don't know. You know. But anyway, but but all those movements, I mean, if you think about it, I could teach you dancing and then suddenly, you know, I got the I got the other key now. I'm going to show you how to do the all the other Hot keto movements, so you could do the finishes. You know yeah. what I mean? So that's that's what I see. But I mean, uh, overall, I mean, I, I love watching the videos. I mean, there's if you practice hot keto or any other martial arts, I think it's very important to look at different arts and and take what's good out of it and be able to implement it into your daily living or your daily practice. Yeah, it's, so it's watching hot keto, it's great that there are all those similarities. You yeah, know, that you yeah. know, as you train, you find other systems that right. you know that as as far apart as they seem at, at when you first start training them, as you go you know further and further up, they it gets more and more similar. Right. You know, uh, but let's not forget he was a student of Jihan J. And, uh, that's where all those, uh, all the other Hapkido, uh, joint locks and everything come from. So 
that that's an awesome thing to know. You know, yeah. that he learned that. And, and now he's forever one of the many branches, yeah, yeah, <laughs> the many flavors there. of Hapkido. And I know he had, a, he, he had other people. I know he has family teaching the art and other instructors now. And you can find it. You can find Hapkido uh, being practiced in different parts of uh, the world now. Um, I don't know if they're being practiced in, uh, I don't know where else, but I mean, you could look, look that up, you know, be able to find where that is. Uh, but that's pretty much it, you know, about Han Kido. I want to thank the person who left a comment that wanted to know about this master. Thank you so much. Yeah. And tell okay. us more, if there's more to yeah. know. There's not a whole lot out there on Han okay. Kido. Yeah, and if you have any other martial arts you'd like to talk about, you know, I put it down That's below. That's why we're here. We'll do another show. That's why we're here. Okay, and uh, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like our video, okay? Thank you so much, and talk to you guys later.